Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the Luxor Hotel and Casino, one of the most iconic buildings here in Las Vegas. And we're super excited because we're actually staying here for two nights. So we're gonna be able to check out every aspect of this hotel, including a brand new adults only attraction that you don't wanna miss. So if you ever thought about staying at this hotel, make sure you watch until the end. We're gonna share with you every detail of our stay. Let's get this adventure started. Let's go ahead and check in. guys we made it to our room the check-in process was very easy we actually didn't have to go to the front desk we downloaded the MGM app putting our information got the digital room key and straight to your room no need to wait in line to check in now first impressions coming into the resort to come in through the main entrance you have to walk under the Sphinx statue It's 106 feet tall it's very impressive then coming into the atrium which is one of the largest in the world first impressions very clean some of the reviews we saw online, they talk about a musty smell. We definitely didn't get that. Just very vibrant, a lot of people. The carpet looks like it was recently changed. The front desk area is massive. So again, first impressions coming in, very positive. Different story coming into a room off the fifth floor on the elevator, just the hallway, very dark, low ceilings. It almost feels like an abandoned building. You, we have a partial view of the atrium. So again, just that impression right there through the hallway, just not very positive. Now we are in our room. So let's continue the video with the official room tour. It's very clean, so no issues with cleanliness here. It's massive, it's 420 square feet. It almost feels like a suite. Uh, it's really nice. Now, something that I did notice was, it looks like there was a mini fridge here at some point. It's not here anymore. There's some cables, some options in the front, and they didn't even know to use the space however you like. So um, yeah, no mini fridge in this room. Something else that we notice in this room is that there is not a latch on this door to secure from the inside. And generally there is a deadbolt here that not only locks the door, but it also turns off the other side so that no one is able to scan a key and come into the room. So this part is a little bit concerning on the security side inside the room. Our room today is a premier key room, which is kind of the standard room here on the pyramid. There are two other towers here at the hotel, and obviously you can stay there as well, but we wanted to stay here just to kind of get the full Egyptian experience. All right, guys, now it's time to check out some of the bars, the restaurants, and the casino floor. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we made it to one of the bars here. It's called Aurora, and I had a French kiss martini. was recording but it was not this is so good so I ordered my favorite dessert which is the flan and um, they told me that this one just came out of the oven which it actually did is is warm and it's so good mm. 10 out of 10 yes definitely 10 out of 10 look at that all right guys we're back in our room wanted to give you a quick rundown of what we've been up to this evening so we went to the aurora bar i had a martini which was i think it was good it was 17 dollars 
it was just not strong enough for that price range you know obviously I, I had better martinis i think it was okay so i was really not very impressed with that after that we went to diablos cantina a mexican restaurant here that one overall was really good i think the food was very tasty it came out pretty quick we had the queso fundido chicken taquitos the veggie tacos rice and beans for cocktail i ordered a passion fruit drink which was it's kind of like a margarita it's made with tequila i love passion fruit and i was very disappointed it seems like they use pre-mix and it's just it was very sour it just didn't taste right and so i mentioned it to the server she was kind enough to have it remade unfortunately the second time around it was still the same issue so i just didn't drink it at the end when we were going to pay our bill the server did notice that i didn't drink it she asked me if it was still the same issue obviously i said yes and she was kind enough to not charge us for the drink you know the service was amazing so i think that for us on day number one i think that was kind of what stood out to us the most just kind of the service we're super excited for day number two tomorrow we're having breakfast at the pyramid cafe after that we're checking out the pool complex and then later in the day we're super excited. We're checking out the new adults only experience here at the Lushers. You cannot miss that. I'll say good night and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, we're at Pyramid Cafe and of course, as usual, I got the French toast. Uh, let's see, these are just kind of the basic French toast, but they look really good. They have a really cool pancake stack. It's shaped as the, kind of as a pyramid, but I think it's a little bit too expensive. It's $26 and it's just too much, uh, I feel, for breakfast, unless you're gonna share with like a group. But it's a really cool option. So let me see how the French toast are. We made it to the pool complex and it's super nice. We got a day bed for today, it's called an island day bed. So it comes with the two chairs, um, towels, obviously. What I like the most is this kind of like a canopy uh, option, which is really nice. Obviously there is an umbrella, but this provides an extra layer of shade, especially during the summer here in Vegas. Like this is really nice. It was 145 and it's just a rental fee. So there is no food and beverage minimum required. Um, obviously you have a cocktail server available to you if you want to get drinks, but it's not required and um so far so good and the view from this specific island bed is super nice i'll turn the camera so you guys can see so we're gonna be here for a little bit maybe get a cocktail there is one that you get to keep uh it's a souvenir cup the size of not the size the shape of the pyramid that would be crazy if it was the size of the pyramid but um so super excited and then later today we're gonna be checking out the adults only experience, which is new here this year. So make sure that you stick around. All right guys, we're back in the room from the pool. We had a really good time. The day bed, highly recommended. The one we had was the island day bed, $145. You get to keep it until 7 p.m. It includes water every so often. They'll come by and check on the water, the ice, make sure that everything is replenished. So highly recommended. They do have some other kind of day beds, obviously. Uh, this was kind of the one that was the cheapest one and the one that provided some of the most amount of shade. During our time there, we had a couple of cocktails, including this one called the Three Amigos. It's a Luxor Margarita and it was really good. This thing is supposed to be 70 ounces according to what it says on, on the menu. So I don't know, you guys, you guys let me know. It's $49. It's, you think it's worth it? Will you get it? 
you think this is uh, 70 ounces? Um, I don't know. Put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And now we're getting ready to check out the new attraction here at the Luxor, which is a playground, but it's for adults only. So we're super excited to check it out. Morning guys, day number three here at the Luxor and I want to talk a little bit about what we did last night. We went to the Play Playground, which is the new attraction here at the Luxor and it's adults only. And it's kind of like a life-size board games for adults. It's $37 per person and they give you enough credit so you get to play all games at least one. What's really cool is there are some games that actually do not require you to use your credits. We were there for a little bit over two hours. Uh, it was a lot of fun at the end. You can redeem your point for prices and there are two bars inside. So this attraction is highly recommended. So this is the point in the video where I'll give you a full review and kind of cover some important items about our stay here at this hotel. And let's start with the room, which was very spacious. It was super clean. You know, at first we were very hesitant because of some of the reviews we found online. Uh, but it was the total opposite the uh, no issues with cleanliness here at this hotel the room does feel a little bit dated uh, but it's very well maintained the bed was super comfortable the tv it's pretty big but the image quality and the selection of the channels is not very the very best uh, but overall the room was really really good as far as restaurants and bars there are several here on property uh, including diablo's cantina public house the Pyramid Cafe, Backstage Deli, there are two Starbucks, there is frozen yogurt, there is a food court, there is the buffet at the Luxor, and kind of the most upscale option here will be the Tender Steakhouse. And when we talk about restaurants and, and bars and things like that, you know, one of the things that we noticed was that the signage here is really good. This hotel is very unique as far as the layout because of the pyramid concept, but the signage is really good. So if you follow the signage, it's, it's very hard to get lost. As far as entertainment, there is a lot of options here to keep you busy for at least a few days. There is the Carrot Top, which is a comedy show, the adult show Fantasy. There is the Blue Man Group, the Titanic Exhibition, the Bodies Exhibition, the King Tots Experience, and then finally the Playground, which is the newest option here at this hotel. As far as stores, there are a couple here on property, but also the Luxor is connected to the Mandalay Bay Shopping Center, giving you additional options for like stores and restaurants. The pool complex here, highly recommended. We had a lot of fun. If you plan on being there for a few hours and you want to be on the sun, we highly recommend you getting the Island Day Bay, which is the one we get. You get plenty amount of shade. It was $145 and you have it all day from like 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Let's talk about the room rate, kind of what to expect as far as expensive, the reservation process. So when we reserved this room, we went online. What I found very helpful and very unique as I haven't seen that before, is that as you go through the reservation process, you can add early check-in, you can add a late checkout. If you're using parking, you can add that to your reservation ahead of time, also pet fee. So there is a number of things that you can add ahead of time that way when you come to the property, just you're ready to go. In our case, we went to the app, we checked in, we have all those different add-on already on our reservation. So we went straight to the room. We didn't have to stop at the front desk. We use our phone as the room key. So that is really helpful. As far as the room rate, our average room rate here was $70 a night. Of course, you have to add the reserve fee, which is $37. What I do want to mention is that this is one of the cheapest hotel that MGM has in their portfolio. 
but just because it's cheaper on the room rate side it not, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be cheaper on other things such as food and beverage so when you're going to get drinks and food kind of the expectation should be that you're going to pay the average pricing on the las vegas strip for instance as an example last night we got two slices of pizza and we share a soda at the food court and that was close to $40. So understand that it's gonna be lower on the room rate site, but expect to pay Las Vegas average pricing on everything else. As far as location, the Luxor is located south of the Strip, just between the Excalibur and Mandalay Bay. There is a tram that takes you between the three properties. So it's a really cool option if you wanna casino hop. As far as distance from the center of the strip, it's about 20 minute walking. So it's really not too bad, but it's always good to kind of understand where the property is located. And this one pretty south of the strip. As far as service, I we were really impressed. Uh, that's kind of probably the highlight of our stay here at the Luxor. Every employee that we encounter was super friendly, very helpful, so just Overall, we had a great experience here at the Luxor, so definitely this hotel is recommended. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you very soon.